powdered net mug. Net mug. What? <laughs> was that an earthquake? It was, right? It was. That was a real earthquake, right? Yeah. Welcome to my kitchen, it's Morella, with my co-host today, Lisa. <laughs> this holiday season, you're gonna have your hands full making cocktails, making dishes. I'm gonna show you how to make two really delicious items, a cocktail and a creamy polenta dish. For the creamy polenta dish, you're going to need polenta, butter, I like to use vegan. You can use milk. I, however, use almond milk, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, garlic, mushrooms, Parsley, I like to use Italian flat parsley. So we're making a creamy polenta dish with sauteed mushrooms on top. It takes a little bit of time and it gets a really big reaction from your crowd. First, I'm going to chop the parsley so we have it ready. I'm going to cut off about this much. So you have your parsley all chopped. The parsley is used for the mushrooms. So we're gonna start the creamy polenta process with the polenta. Polenta is pretty easy to find in your grocery store. And if you're wondering what polenta is made out of, polenta is a cornmeal. I like to put in one, two, three tablespoons of olive oil and I like to massage my polenta. Relax, polenta. Close your eyes and go to happy polenta land. What? No, this is not that kind of massage. Naughty polenta. I'm going to add some salt. And by the way, how much salt is really up to you? I don't like it when recipes say a quarter tablespoon or half a tablespoon because it's really to your taste. Pink Himalayan salt. We are going to put the polenta aside. We bring the pot over. We're gonna get on to something else. So you're going to need two cups of milk. We're also gonna need one and a half cups of water. Two tablespoons of butter. Add some salt, okay, to the stove. So you're bringing the milk, butter, salt, and the water to a simmer. This recipe does require some attention and some stirring, but it doesn't take that long, and I promise it's really worth it. It's simmering. We're gonna put the polenta right in. Be careful, because it's very hot. You're gonna have to stir this for a bit. It's going to start to crust around the pot. You're gonna have to scrape that. While we have five minutes before we have to stir our polenta again, we're going to get everything for the mushrooms ready. For the mushrooms, you're going to need mushrooms. They're already cut up. However, I'm going to chop them a little bit smaller. We're gonna need garlic, which I'm going to chop right now. I like to use a lot of garlic, which proves I'm not a vampire. And B, it's probably why I was single for so long. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Anyway, so we're gonna chop the garlic. Once we have the garlic chopped, we're gonna put it next to our parsley. Now, the mushrooms saute pretty quickly. It's why that's going to be our last step with the polenta. Lisa likes mushrooms. And thanks for popping up once a month, Lisa. We did not chop the mushrooms very finely. We just, you know, made them a little bit smaller. As your polenta is thickening up, you can start adding Parmesan cheese. See how the consistency is getting nice and thick? So while we're waiting for our creamy polenta, I'm going to be making a cocktail with homemade eggnog. I'm going to make it vegan, but you don't have to. So for the cocktail, you're going to need powdered net mug. Net mug, what? This is good champagne. <laughs> for your eggnog cocktail, you're going to need ground nutmeg, maple syrup, raw cashews, which should be soaked net mug overnight, but if you don't have overnight, that's okay. Just soak them for an hour. Ground cinnamon, coconut milk, cinnamon sticks, stock Net mug. Okay, I also, oh my god. Star anise. But the most important ingredient is da -da -da -da. the whiskey. So here's what we're going to do. I'm actually using a Nutri Bullet. We're going to put all the ingredients in this. The cashews, the coconut milk in, quarter cup of water, nutmeg, net mug, cinnamon, maple syrup. One, two, three. Blend all of this together. Don't worry, it's not done yet. We still haven't put the whiskey in, okay? You guys, this is homemade eggnog, vegan style. I'm gonna add some ice to it. And now, the whiskey. One, two, three, because you're at least serving three people or the three voices in your head. However, I'm going to add one more. 
there we go if you're not perfect at putting it into the glass here's what I recommend put the funnel in there you have it and you could pretty much get this funnel at the automotive department of Target. Wow, this funnel really works. So you've got this beautiful cocktail. Here's how I would garnish it before I serve it to my guests. A little bit more nutmeg, cinnamon, a cinnamon stick, a dried star anise. Look how beautiful that looks. Now that is a holiday cocktail. Oh my God, it's like drinking. Was that an earthquake? It was, right? It was. Oh, we're in Los Angeles, so. Better get drinking. That was a real earthquake, right? Yeah. I can't believe we had a real earthquake. Anyway, the cocktail is really good. So our polenta is almost done. We are going to start sauteing our mushrooms. Olive oil. While this oil is heating up, throw in the garlic. Throw in the mushrooms. I like to do this on really high heat because I like my sauteed vegetables crispy, crunchy, just the slightest bit raw. Like I said, salt is really all up to your taste. These are ready. And these only took what, a couple minutes? You're now going to sprinkle the Italian flat parsley on top. So there you have it, the perfect holiday dish and cocktail. They look beautiful, they taste amazing, and everybody will love them. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season with your family and friends, and remember the less fortunate this holiday season. If you like the video, please subscribe. If you have your own recipes, please comment. I would love to see them, and I would love to actually use them in my own kitchen. Remember, you don't have to be a professional chef to have a good time, make good food, and make people happy. Happy holidays.